9 Texting Habits of a High-Value Woman Texting has clearly become the primary mode of communication in today's dating scenes. I don't know anyone who doesn't text at least half of their romantic conversations. And, like any other method, and it is not without its challenges. Your texting habits tell a lot about you and could mean the difference between a potential relationship succeeding or failing. A high-value woman successfully employs these basic streams of letters to convey much of what a conversation in person can achieve. It's a challenging task, since face-to-face -face allows you to use words, tone of voice, facial emotions, and body language. After watching this video, you will understand the psychology of texting and how to text men in a way that makes them like and respect you more. 9. High-value women don't text constantly. Many women may easily spend hours messaging a guy, but this is not a high-value behavior. For starters, a high-value woman has more important things to achieve than text a man and has stretched text chats. When it comes to texting or other parts of early dating, a high-value woman understands that less is more. She guards her privacy and does not readily or easily open up to strangers. She also understands the need of maintaining some mystery about herself in order to keep a man intrigued. Finally, she has a life and only uses texting to convey brief notes or ideas or when she has anything important to say. She would not, however, try to get to know someone through texting. How many times have I seen women spend days or even months speaking with men via text and building up such high hopes just to be disappointed when they eventually meet these men? You don't want to be one of them. 8. She does not initiate all text conversations. Feminists would argue that there is nothing wrong with women taking on all leadership roles. I completely disagree. There's nothing wrong with women taking the lead, but let's be honest. Love relationships aren't about what's right and wrong. It is all about what works. Initiating some texts suggests a degree of interest in a man, but initiating all text messages screams desperation, which is not exactly high value. Not to mention, if a woman needs to initiate all talks, what does it indicate about this man's level of interest? If you ask me, that is pretty low. By the way, if a man does not start text number two, you can bet he isn't interested in you. Men are really skilled at recognizing what they are looking for, and they can tell whether you are that from their first encounter. 7. They don't take hours to respond to text messages. It's a common misconception that you should text back after a particular period of time to appear cool or aloof. However, folks who wait hours to respond to text messages are simply being rude and obnoxious. Sure, this method might work in some scenarios such as trying to catch someone's attention. However, in general, it is advisable to answer to texts as soon as possible. By responding too slowly, you give the idea that you don't care about the other person or the topic. That is not something a high-value woman would do. 6. Women of high value text guys who text them. If he hasn't texted you in a week or more, there's no need to reach out and remind him that you're still alive. He is aware. This one is really straightforward. A woman who loves herself will not wonder whether she did something wrong, and she will not text him to find out what happened if his speed slows or stops. She merely observes. She is fully aware that he would keep the channels of contact open if he wanted to. She isn't worried as long as she has been receptive and tolerant of his attempts without going overboard. She refuses to start or make effort when he is not present or when he quits. Just a quick note, men can only keep up the non-stop texting pace for so long. They can and will become bored and move on to a target that is not as simple as it seems. 5. She employs texting as a revealing technique. A high-value woman does not get to know someone through texting, since she is fully aware that anyone may look sweet and charming behind a screen. She is aware that texting involves little effort, thus, she favors deeds above cheap words. While messaging is available to her, she is going to use it to search for red flags, assess actual intents, and see through bullshit. As I previously stated, a high-value woman is always attempting to gauge a man's degree of interest. Is he seeking a hookup or someone to date seriously? Is he actually interested in me or is he keeping me on the sidelines? 4. High-value women don't text deep stuff. 
One of the most important texting habits of a high-value woman is that she does not text about serious issues. She recognizes that tone cannot be heard in a text and that things might quickly go wrong. She isn't in such a rush to fix a perceived problem that she needs to send out paragraphs of how she feels or thinks. High-value women are not anxious. Have you ever tried to solve an issue or manage an argument using text and found yourself becoming increasingly frustrated? If this is the case, you are not alone. Texting is not an effective method of issue solving or conflict resolution. In my MBA class, I was chatting with a friend of mine who just had a breakup with her boyfriend. She was sending long emotional texts to her recent ex at the same time. Back and forth shifting of emotions and blame. In the midst of all this texting, I persuaded her to stop. Simply answer with, I am not willing to talk about this over a text, and then stop. They recently got married. Let go of the worry of losing him. You are the one who is easily lost. Keep the emotional discussions to in-person discussions or at the very least phone calls. Texting habits of a high-value woman are flirtatious, light, and fun, or to say hello there, I'm running late. 3. They are neither dull nor dry. There are a few things you ought to avoid if you want to look high-value in your text messages. To start with, fight against the temptation to be dry or arrogant. Nobody likes to read a message that sounds like it was written by a machine, so add some personality to the messages you write. Second, avoid being boring. This doesn't mean you have to send humorous one-liners all the time, but your messages should be intriguing enough to keep the recipient's attention. By avoiding these texting errors, you'll come out as confident and personable, two attributes that are guaranteed to impress. Two, they do not engage in mind games. Mind games are an indication of low value. They are a deceptive method of trying to control or manipulate the other person. They are also a means of attracting attention. A high-value woman is self-assured and does not need to play mind games. They are also straightforward. They will ask for something directly if they desire it. This demonstrates respect for the other person and increases the likelihood of an appropriate response. Mind games are a sort of emotional manipulation and are not an effective technique for communicating or getting what you want. 1. She increases her attractiveness through texting. If a woman performs all of the above, she will surely attract men. That is because she is signaling her high standards through her texting habits, which is very appealing to guys. A high-value lady creates mystery around her character by communicating by texting or not texting that she is not always accessible because she has a life and possibly family and friends around her and that she is not too keen to reveal all her personal details to whom she still perceives as a stranger since she loves her privacy. That's all there is to it. These are the top nine texting habits of high value women. By implementing these practices into your personal texting habits, you will be shocked at how much your text discussions and relationships with others will improve. If you enjoyed the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.